Hi guys, Justin here of Fugitech, and after a long time, it's time for another smartphone camera showdown. Recently, Huawei released the newest member of the P40 series, the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Now, Realme also released its first flagship smartphone, the Realme X3 Super Zoom. So while these brands boast their Super Zoom capabilities, let us put that to the test. As you've read in the title, in this matchup, it's not just two smartphones that we're going to compare, but because we feel extra we will make it three. And that's the Huawei P40 Pro Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the Realme X3 Super Zoom. So do they have what it takes to stand up? Let's find out. Has had a very fruitful partnership with Leica over the years. The Penta camera on the back of the P40 Pro Plus is of course the star of the show and it will be the Pro Plus's key selling feature. You get a 50 megapixel primary and a 40 megapixel ultra wide shooter and then there's an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom and another 8 megapixel telephoto with the whopping 10 times optical zoom thanks to a periscopic lens. The fifth shooter is a time of flight one to help the autofocus portraits, and some of the more advanced video modes. On the other hand, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is composed of a 108 megapixel main wide angle lens, a 48 megapixel periscope telephoto, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a time of light 3D camera. For the Realme X3 Super Zoom, it utilizes an 8 megapixel periscope style camera which allows it to achieve a claimed 5 times optical zoom. We also get a 64 megapixel Samsung GW1 sensor, an 8 megapixel pixel wide angle camera and a 2 megapixel macro lens. In front, residing in their respective notch or punch hole design, there's the 32 megapixel plus IR time of flight 3D for the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, a 40 megapixel lens for the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and a dual 32 megapixel plus 8 megapixel shooters for the Realme X3 Super Zoom. For videos, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra can shoot up to 8K, while the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and the Realme X3 Super Zoom can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Like usual, this is going to be a comparison purely based on raw, unedited camera quality, which means we will use the standard or automatic mode. Alright, on to the sample shots. For these sets of photos, taken in broad daylight, we can see that Realme tends to overexpose compared to the other two, while Samsung nails it when it comes to the details, providing a cleaner and clearer picture among the three. Huawei, on the other hand, decided to focus on the signage and blurred everything in the background. For the second set, we can see Realme's lack of dynamic range as seen in how the sun ray bleeds in the picture, while the P40 Pro Plus manages to capture the ray properly. The greens are almost the same for the two cameras, but Samsung produces better detail and colors on the greens at the expense of the sunlight being hidden. For the third set of pictures, the Realme and Huawei shots look almost identical, but Samsung produces darker greens, and this somehow bleeds into the color of the sky that turns to blue-greenish color. Next, Next, we turn our attention to the tiles in this picture. At first glance, it feels like you're more drawn to the Huawei shot as it is more natural looking, and the colors, sharpness, details, and shadows are better. Samsung's colors are dark, but the clouds and sky are more detailed and accurate to its color, while the Realme takes the worst of the three, with pale colors and a lot of noise going on. Last for our daylight set, the shot from the Huawei phone stands out due to its background separation, while Samsung nails the details when zooming in on the grass flowers. Realme, while it has a cooler tone, overexposes the shot under direct sunlight and does not do a good job separating the background from the subject. Now let's move on to the ultra-wide sample shots that we got. In this first photo, we can see that Samsung's ultra-wide lens delivers on its promise, capturing the trees in their entirety, along with great color and sharp details. Realme and Huawei on the other end doesn't seem to be using a real ultra-wide lens, but colors are good enough. Same as with these ultra-wide shots of AJ. Samsung takes the cake here in terms of the frame of view. It gets the dynamic range right, and even if HDR is not used, it seems that HDR is still applied. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus mixed up with the colors a bit, as the skin tone and the foliage is more yellowish. A sign that Huawei's ultra-wide lens may be overexposing the shots compared to its primary sensor. Realme's shots are okay, but there seems to be some glitches around the cables overhead. 
For selfies, Realme still tends to overexpose under direct sunlight. Simultaneously, the S20 Ultra and the P40 Pro Plus get the color as vibrant as it gets. But when it comes to details under good lighting, I'd go for the Realme X3 Super Zoom as it gives me more sharpness and clarity when it comes to facial features. And when their beauty modes are turned on, the S20 Ultra makes it more natural looking, while the P40 Pro Plus gives more color. And as for the Realme X3 Super Zoom, beauty mode is more noticeable, which makes the softness look more unnatural. For portraits, it's quite surprising that the X3 Super Zoom has more precise background separation and a more natural bokeh effect than the other two. Same goes for portrait selfies. Realme almost got the background separation perfect than the S20 Ultra, while the bokeh on the P40 Pro Plus looks a bit too much, and AJ's hair color is more on the pale side. Talk about night mode. Using the night mode on in this first shot, we can see Realme producing the nicest shot highlighting the lighted areas properly while keeping the sky dark, as in literally black. Huawei's shot also looks nice, but the lights seem to bleed and there is some glare visible. Now Samsung's color reproduction looks questionable as the lights in the guardhouse are different from the rest. And other sources of light that the other two were able to keep out shows here. Next. We can see that Realme uses contrast to produce a more dramatic picture while Huawei's shots create a more natural look, despite the lights bleeding in some places. Samsung provided a clearer image of the sky and manages to tame the lights. The last set for our night mode shots, coming from a scene that's almost pitch black, we can see Realme struggling with too much noise in trying to illuminate the scene. Samsung gets on the safe side, looking more natural and making sure that details are clear at the expense of a darker image than Huawei's. Okay, I know you're curious about this, now let's see how each device performs when it comes to their zoom capabilities. For all three phones, we use their 60x zoom. In general, Huawei's implementation of Zoom is superior to the competition. Meanwhile, Samsung comes close in some aspects. Now, Realme, with its lower Zoom capability, lags in clarity and color reproduction. As for the 100 times Zoom capability of the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the P40 Pro Plus, it's sad to say that Samsung's quality sucks. Yeah. On the other hand, the P40 Pro Plus retains the clarity of subject and is much more visible. When it comes to videos, all cameras are stabilized. Still, somehow Samsung struggles to focus on the image and is overexposed. Huawei seems to be using its wide-angle lens but has the right colors, while Realme appears to produce a more pleasant video in this sample shot. In conclusion, given that the P40 Pro Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra are known for their camera capabilities, Realme does not disappoint considering the X3 Super Zoom is their first flagship device. Obviously, you would expect photos to come out from the Huawei and Samsung devices to be top-notch. After all, you're spending money to get the very best optics, hardware, and software available today. Surprisingly, the Realme X3 Super Zoom can really hold its own against the other two despite its price. On normal occasions, you can't really go wrong with these three cameras and it depends on your preference on what phone you'll prefer. If you're after beautiful selfies, go with Realme. If you're into details, go for Samsung. And if you're into dynamic range, Huawei is the one for you. If you want to take high quality shots at 100 times zoom, then I suggest you get a professional camera. Anyways, who uses 100 times zoom in a normal scenario? Don't be creepy. And that's it guys, what do you think about this camera comparison? Are you team Realme, Huawei, or Samsung? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.